the pooch kick by FIU will be fielded at the 35 yard line by Alabama and very quickly the Golden Panthers opting to stay away from Bama speedster Javier Aritas and there you see the secondary Anthony Gator a good one at left corner McElroy the short drop there's Julio Jones he had four catches a week ago and Tyler very early the tide finds number eight and I, and I tell you who sets this play up though is actually Hanks number 15 the, just the way that they were able to bounce back after Virginia Tech came back and scored and took the lead back and forth battle but they didn't give up and they were able to finish the, bo the ball game like Barry Krause was talking about two tight end set they run it to that side with up shirt Colin Peake and Preston Dial overloaded to the left side and Alabama able to run that direction had a couple of great runs had a unfortunate fumble though inside the red zone that Alabama was able to back uh, bounce back from they'll go on the reverse there is Julio Jones first time we've seen him in that type of situation Tyler but you knew that that was going to come at some point you got McElroy actually split right up church the Wildcat Terry Grant in the game but up church will keep it himself and he will pick up good yardage down to the 30 yard line. Earl Alexander the wide out to the top of your picture with Jones in the slot Darius Hanks to the near side on play action McElroy with all day wanted to load up instead he'll wait he finds Alexander and he's got another first down inside the 20 yard line puts it at the 19 Trent Richardson into the ball game. The freshman, one of the most highly touted players in America, lowers his shoulder, runs over a tackler, and he picks up seven yards. We didn't see him until the final series of downs for Alabama a week ago, Tyler. Mays in the game to the top of your screen. The give, though, to Richardson again. He'll lower his shoulder again. He'll keep the legs churning, but FIU does a nice job of slowing down. Richardson, the 5'11", 220-pound freshman out of Pensacola High School, excuse me, Pensacola, Florida. McElroy looking, throwing in and out of the hands of Julio Jones. Don't know if that was deflected or not. You had pretty good coverage. And now we will see Lee Tiffin come on, who made four of five and was recognized nationally for his effort. It's a chip shot. He boots it through, and Alabama has now taken a 3-0 lead with 9.02 to go through for over 2,300 yards last year and 15 touchdowns. And they will start with the empty set, five wide outs, and you'll see a lot of this today. You'll also see the ball on the ground, and that's about the worst way it could have started for the Golden Panthers as Bama gets a freebie there. Third down and all the way to the 25 needed. Pressure coming, looking for it all. And that one is going to be caught for a first down. Kareem Jackson, check that. Excuse me, it was Robbie Green, I believe, who was beaten on the play. See what they do here. Bama showing blitz with Mark Barron creeping up from the corner. They pick it up rather nicely, though. The out pass drops. It was Ellington who caught the 46-yarder earlier. It's the tight end dial shifting to the H-back spot. And now McElroy will look. Dragging is Colin Peake, the tight end, and he makes the catch. It picks up an Alabama first down, a gain of a dozen on that play, Tyler. McElroy on the slant. Boy, he put that one on the money and a great grab in traffic by McCoy. Mario Cristobal, a tremendous tackle for the Miami Hurricanes. In fact, he's faced Alabama twice. One and one as a freshman. He was a part of that Hurricane squad that beat Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. And in his senior year, not so much. First and ten now for the Tide. The slant again to McCoy. Again, a first down. And we talked about that about this last week. Nice little start. Five of six, better than 50 yards passing. Play action, rolling, looking. That's a great feed right there. Dumping it off to Dial. Preston Dial at the 25 and knocked down as he gets to the 24-yard line. McElroy from the shotgun. Looking, dragging again McCoy, and he needs one block for Mays, and he gets it, and he walks into the end zone for an Alabama touchdown. Mike McCoy with his third catch of the drive. Here's Tiffin. The kickoff again. T.Y. Hilton 
the deep man and he'll take it from his five Hilton at the 15 Hilton at the 20 Hilton at the 30 and that's why you don't want to kick it to him he is off to the races can Julio Jones catch him 25 20 10 5 touchdown 97 yards T.Y. Hilton that is the longest return of his career for McElroy and that really wasn't his fault play action he will look, he will look, and he will unload it. It's caught by McCoy. It's another first down. There's Grant in motion. He'll get the carry around the right side, and that one is broken up nicely by the Golden Panthers. A great job. That is Anthony Gator. Good to see number 22 in the ball game. He was in the game at the end of the previous drive. A lot of time for McElroy. There's Ingram who makes the catch. Ingram looking to the outside. Ingram keeping his feet 30. Ingram 25. Still on his feet inside the 15-yard line, and they'll spot him down there. It'll be first down Alabama. Richardson in for protection. McElroy dumps it off McCoy. Spinning inside the 10. That'll set up third down and short. Holding. Number 79 on the offense. 29-yard try from the snap of Selman. The hold of Fitzgerald. The kick by Lee Tiffin. Crowd making a little noise as McCall will snap it with seven on the play clock. They dump it off, and that's a great call and great execution. They got a first down and more across midfield into Alabama territory. There is a guy behind you that can play just as well on the sideline, and that's the thing is Alabama's had some great recruiting classes, and yet Nick Saban still will play a lot of young people. There's a deep ball. Kareem Jackson in single coverage is going to get him for pass interference. I think he knocked it away cleanly with the right hand, Tyler, but that left hand may have been the reason for the flag. Third down and a long three, maybe four actually, for FIU as they'll dump it across the middle. Hilton with a lot of running room, 20. Hilton 15, Hilton 10. Hilton finally brought down, shy of the five-yard line. But again, the Golden Panthers will move the chains. The camera was just shifted. It was not under five. They now have it at nine. McCall with nowhere to go. Empty set with five wideouts. Looking, throwing, pass, caught, touchdown, Golden Panthers. Frierson, check that Ellington, who had the 46-yard grab on third down earlier in the game. Mark Ingram, who did not start the game is the single setback play action McElroy looking to throw he's looking deep on the post route McCoy bump and still makes the grab there was contact around the 30 there was no flag and McCoy stayed with it a week ago Tyler did not have a catch for Alabama he's made up for it so far so too Ingram as he rumbles inside the 15 and Alabama marching right back down the field that last one had covered 35 on the slant. Alexander makes the grab. That's enough for the first down as they'll spot him at the two. That is a full house backfield with Ingram running right behind Cody and not surprisingly easily into the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Chapman in the game at nose the slant and another great grab. Nick Gentry seeing action now for Alabama. 6'1 sophomore out of Prattville. In on that defensive front. And they will move the pile forward for about six yards, moving the chains as the clock stops momentarily with 7.37 to go in quarter number two. They've got to get all the way to their own 49-yard line. Bama showing blitz. Here it comes. Arenas and Barron, they dump it off in time. Catch made by Roll. He's got a first down. Finally pushed out of bounds by McLean, but not until he gets inside Bama territory. Could have cost him in a big way, but also saved them in a big way because it did indeed work out. Now third down and long. They've been dangerous here. They're actually four or five on third down. Let's update that for you. Four or six. Marcel Darius with a sack. 
with 517 to go in the half. They're four for four offensively, a pair of touchdowns, two field goals from Lee Tiffin. Let's see what they do here. Play action, scrambling, and he'll go down back inside the five-yard line. Mark Ingram tried to keep one defender off of him, and they're probably a first down away from making that the case. Pass to Hilton, and he's going to be brought down in a nice open field tackle by Kareem Jackson. Oh, but the middle of that defense, very soft right now. So now third and three. The direct snap, and McCall, the quarterback, kept it himself. Play clock is at seven, game clock at 105 as they get the snap off. Pressure coming. A lot of red helmets chasing Paul McCall, and he throws it away incomplete. It might be intentional grounding ball, did not get past the line of scrimmage. Let them set it up. We'll see what they do here on seconds. Again, just a handoff to Ingram. And he will cut it back, and he will pick up the first down, but with only six seconds left to go in the first half. So Alabama will have to snap it again, I believe, or will they? Don't think so. They'll start the clock, and that is the final snap of the half for Alabama. Third and about 11 now. Working from the gun, as always. Looking to throw, but going down again. Dante Hightower hits him, gets the sack, and the Golden Panthers will have to punt. Second and eight, Bama with Hanks in the slot to the bottom of your screen. McCoy will dump it off out of the backfield. Ingram, and he will get upended just shy of the 30-yard line. The give, no. Play action. They'll dump it off to the tight end, Smelly, and he is going to be shy of the first down, I believe. That's a great job in coverage there. And I guess from the Alabama side, you're wondering why is it not a flip there? Or at least a block in the back. It is a moot point now as Bama stops the Golden Panthers for a loss back at the 21-yard line. You dance around, you look up, and there's Orlando McLean and Terrence Cody staring you right in the face. They try to go up top, and they do successfully again, taking advantage of the 6-4 range of Greg Ellingson over a smaller defensive back in Kareem Jackson. Under 10 minutes to go in the third. Third and six. Ball batted into the air and incomplete. There is a flag on the play. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike foul, number 58, 15-yard penalty. Here's Munera on to punt. Arenas set to return. One of the most dangerous return men in America, Javier Arenas, looking for some running room. He will make the grab at the 30. Arenas, 35. Arenas, open field, midfield. Arenas, across midfield, down to the 42-yard line of FIU. He is fun to watch. And FIU, out of, let's say they have 30 offensive plays, Alabama plays great defense on 25 of them. It's just those other five, they're getting big yardage or touchdowns. Second and 10, they'll swing it out to Richardson. He'll make one man miss. He'll lower his head. He'll run over two more. And that might be the jaw-dropping play I was anticipating coming <laughs> this game. See the carries down for Mark Ingram from a week ago, but impressive nonetheless. That one, though, will result in a loss of a yard. And very fortunate for the Golden Panthers. They don't have a late hit. And here comes a 39-yard try from the foot of Lee Tiffin. Two for two thus far. Six of seven on the year. That kick is up, and he hooked it left. You don't think that's big right there? It's still a one-possession game. A big third down and three for FIU. They've got to get across the 32 of Alabama to keep this drive going. Bama showing blitz. And they'll rush four. And Marcel Darius will get him. So McCall's back there thinking, I got to get rid of the football. I'm looking for a quick slant. And they're just running all over the place. A low line drive, and Arenas is salivating at the 30. Javi 35, Javi 40, dancing around 45, spinning to midfield. It will be brought down officially right at the midfield stripe, and Alabama will have it there. Third down and about four. 4.44 to go. Third quarter, Hanks, his first catch of the day. That's enough for the first down. He's drug out of bounds. Play action again. Looking, dumping it off Richardson. 
Richardson makes a man miss. Keeps his feet. Works his way toward that first down mark, and that will be enough for an Alabama first down, I do believe. Six-point Bama lead, trying to add to it. First and 10 from just outside the FIU. 20 to give Richardson. 15. Dives toward the 10-yard line, and Trent Richardson almost took that one for a touchdown. Earl Alexander, the wide out to the bottom of your screen. The give will be to Richardson again. Trent Richardson will score his first Alabama touchdown, and the Crimson Tide leads it 26-14. to 14. They'll go for two. Ingram in the ballgame. Colin Peake, the tight end, also in there. They'll swing it out near side, looking for Peake, but he can't hang on to it. Bobbled it and lost it out of bounds. They've got to get right to their own 47-yard line to keep it going. McCall running out of time. Dante Hightower brings him down for another sack. The Alabama defense after having some shaky moments in the first half. Rock solid here in half number two. Pressure coming. McElroy will have to unload it, and the pass falls incomplete. Thankfully, a very dangerous throw by Greg McElroy. And first down marker all the way up at the 47. McCall with a little time now throws it underneath to Ellingson. See his long of 53 yards. Snap a little bit off the mark, and he now will boom another one. Sending Arenas back to his 19-yard line. Javi at the 20. Javi at the 30. Javi at the 40. Javi on his feet. Finally brought down at the 40-yard line of FIU. Arenas. Bama leading it by a dozen. Second down and six. Richardson, the lone setback. He'll get the call. Richardson in the open field. And forget it, Trent Richardson has just rushed 35 yards. And Alabama has taken now a commanding 32 to 14 lead. Here in the second half, first and 10 from their own 24-yard line. They'll swing this one out. Connecting with Perry, and he's got nice yardage across the 35 to the 33-yard line. McCall trying to check off. Play clock down to three as they snap it. They'll swing it out in a hurry, and this will be stopped shy of the first down. They'll run it to the right side, and McCall, it's going to depend on the spot. Looks like you may have gotten it. It's, it's difficult to hydrate yourself to the to point that you need on Thursday and Friday. Despite the cramps, they ask McCall to run, and he's able to pick up good yardage again. Fourth and three. Four-man rush, but well covered. He has to throw it at the feet of the running back. They may drop a flag on that one. They will. Loss of down and loss of yardage, although Penn Wagers may get a little help from his crew. Smelly, the H-back. Richardson, the tailback. He'll get the carry. He'll get running room. He'll get the first down, and he'll also get over 100 yards rushing now on the night. That's right. <laughs> Very few have guns like that or legs like Ingram's, and he'll take it the distance for an Alabama touchdown. 42 yards, Terry Grant, excuse me, 2-9, not 2-2. Two, two. Just at the start of preseason camp. It was not an easy preseason for Alabama. A few distractions, but the tide has weathered it and gotten into the year as younger is going to be stopped by Mark Barron. A lot of people don't realize, especially on defense, when your position changes, you really have to almost change your body type, add a lot more weight in some cases, as Reamer had to do. Pass across the middle, caught. And then almost taken away. Cole Anderson was a quarterback coming out of high school. And you talk about a guy changing positions, had to bulk up to play tight end. Younger has the snap go through his hands. He'll pick it up and running for his life. And a flag comes in. I think somebody from Alabama may have gotten a hand on a face mask. Third and seven for FIU. Got to get to the 11. Younger with time. Looking for the end zone. Broke it up. 
Chris Rogers, I believe, got a hand on it. He did. You would think it was certainly much more than a cramp. Ball batted around. Mark Barron's got it. And Alabama turns away FIU again. And Thomas Dara will come in at quarterback now for the Crimson Tide. He'll hand it off to Terry Grant, who cuts it back. Grant spinning and finally out of bounds. Give you as many names as we can. As Grant gets close to the first down mark, but I think he's going to be just shy of that. Alfred McCullough among the new linemen in the game. To give to Grant right up the gut. He's got the first down and more. Tell you what, that'll help those young guys, Tyler, going into this next week. Jackson, a redshirt freshman out of Lake Worth High School in Lake Worth, Florida, seeing his first action in a game for the Crimson Tide. Along with Demetrius Good, they'll work him from the shotgun on first and ten. They'll hand it off, and Good. Bounces it to the outside. Good near the first down mark. We'll see where they spot it. That is enough. Over 500 yards of total offense tonight for the Crimson Tide as Good will get the final carry, you would think, for Alabama. As the clock will continue to run. And that will be enough for Alabama. They will move the chains, but once they do, the clock will start again, and the handshakes will ensue on the sidelines. And now the head coaches will meet at midfield. Nick Saban and FIU's Mario Cristobal exchanging pleasantries as Alabama wore down the Golden Panthers who gave the Tide all they wanted for the first 30 minutes, but Bama pulled away for the 40-14 victory.